What's going on guys, Jaguar Doty here, back from the vlog, and today we're working on my mom's car. She has a 2014 Mustang GT Premium, and we're gonna be finally lowering it. So we have a whole lot of BMR parts that'll be going on. Let me show you guys. So these are all the parts we're gonna be putting on. We have the BMR handling springs, and these are the front and rears, and there's two of them, so the rear is right there in between it. And then we have the pan hard bar. This is their adjustable one, it's because whenever you lower it, the rear axle will kind of be shifted, so we have to fix that. Right here we have the LCAs, which will help with a little bit of the wheel hop. And then lastly, right here, we're gonna be doing the Maximum Motorsports caster camber plates. We did these on my car. It helps get your alignment perfectly in spec without having to use the camber bolts. Got my buddy John here. We're back. We're back, so now we're gonna be slamming this car. This is a baseline of what we're looking like right now. We have tons of wheel gap right there. As you can see, yeah, you can fit a fist in there. That's in the rear. So now we're going to the front. Same thing, basically. Lots of wheel gaps, so we hope to get that all dialed in. Shardy has the Verdes on here, so let's get her looking right. Got it up on all four jack stands. Give it a good push just to make sure everything's all good. So everything's looking good. We're just gonna take off the wheels and begin doing the front struts. Now we're cooking along pretty good. We already have the strut off and it's getting compressed. That way we can change out the springs and do the top hats. This side actually came out really easy. The help of not having eccentric camber bolts really did make it a lot faster. And even on this side, we already have this side out. So that, we're probably in like 20 minutes right now for this entire job. So we're definitely going pretty quick. I'd say that's the thing doing cars is that you learn each time you do it, you get better and better. So the first time it took us forever and this time we're done like instantly because we just know exactly what to do and what steps to take. Here's where we're at so far. We have the spring out. These things are looking gorgeous. The powder coating on this is really high quality. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and start to build the caster camber plate because you have to do that at the same time. So we had a split from the bearing and then now we're going to build the caster camber plates right here, just like I did in my video. I'll have a link to that up here. So check that out. We're definitely smoking through it and we'll be done pretty quick. Putting on the lowering spring. We didn't actually have to compress this at all. So we're just gonna do it by hand. I'll have to hold this a little bit, but I'm just gonna tighten it down and get her going. So, yep. Continuing on, just really easy. I mean, whatever you take apart, you just put it right back on. Now we have these completely built. So that's what it looks like. The BMR springs with the caster camera plates by Maxim Motorsport. We have driver and passenger and everything went on pretty smoothly. This is going really fast. Now we're just gonna start to throw it onto the car and then we'll hit up the rear and then we'll have to do the pan hard bar and lower control arms, but Big Bertha should make that pretty quick. Like I said, having the proper tools, so we have two Big Berthas and we also have a mini Bertha, which is like the quarter inch drive one. These impact drivers are really awesome because it helps like all suspension stuff is pretty high torque, but this stuff just knocks it out, pulls it right off and we can just put it right back on. So having the right tools is a big thing. Check out your local pawn shop. That's where I got my impact driver. Actually, that's where John got his too. I use Loyalty Pawn here in Sacramento. So if you guys can go check that one out, if you're local, check them out. They always have tools there or check out your local one. One side down, that's what it looks like under there. Got the caster camber plate. Just don't have this one done. And then we'll pull this out when we're done once we set all this. But we're going along pretty good. That's what it should look like under there. We still have to do the end link, which means you have to raise this up just because the sway bar is not under tension. But like I said, these tools make it a super easy job. And uh, yeah, we're knocking out the next side. torque this down. It's 166 for the strut to spindle, which are these ones. There's two right here and it's 85 for up there for the end link. So definitely make sure you use a torque wrench. Make sure it's all done there factory tight. This one's kind of sketchy because you're going up towards the fender. So just be very careful when you're torquing. There we go. There's there 166. Is. So now it's 166. It's a pain in the butt. It's a lot of torque there, but at least you know it's done right. So we're gonna do it all the way around. Really quick, I wanna show you guys this. These ones right here are 20 foot pounds, all these little tins. This one's 26, so you definitely don't wanna over torque this. You could bend the sheet metal, really easy to do. So we're gonna go around, do the 166, and then we'll kind of work our way down. Now we have this all nice and tightened up. We have it all torqued down. What we're gonna do is show you what the caster camber kit says to do before you get an alignment. Obviously you will need alignment. We're just gonna kind of eyeball it for now, but the first thing I want you to do is loosen all of these up, which we've already done, and then pull it all the way forward. So, might have to have some help here. Is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all the way forward. So we're gonna have it all the way forward like that, and then we'll just tighten down this one, which is for the caster. This one is a 17, so let me go ahead and do that. Like I said, this one's 26 foot pounds, and these are all 20. So now that we have that one all locked down, now you can see it just adjusts the camber, so John, kind of move it around, you can kind of see. 
Yeah, so as you can see, that's just adjusting your camber. We're just gonna kind of eyeball center it and then we'll lock down all four of those at 20 foot pounds. But a quick tip just to kind of gauge it, we just eyeballed this, but check this out. You put this on the caliper and boom, this is the compass app on the iPhone. Oh, I'm holding my power button. Put that on there at zero degrees. Obviously that might be like 0 0.7 or something like that, but at least this gets us going to where it's not all wonky before we get in alignment. We have the new springs on on the front. We even have the wheels on. Sabir put these on by hand, he came by. Things have just been flying by with Sabir. That's sarcasm. Ah, uh, uh, gotcha. Uh, he got me. I gotcha. This one's on there too. Now what we're doing is doing the rear end. We just dropped the end links for the sway bar, put a jack under there, lowered the rear end, and actually all of this came out. We got the springs out. You just pull off right here. Obviously have to do the strut as well to release it. So now we're gonna install the new springs. We're gonna do the pain hard bar and do the BMR LCAs. So real quick, we're doing the LCAs right here and see how the brake line for the parking, li parking line is going through the hole. You gotta disconnect that. So Sabir's gonna show you how to do that. There's a C-clip at the bottom holding it in place. Yep. And, you just and then you just out. pull this out and then this will slide out towards the front. Just. Uh, uh, I'm not gonna lie, the other side, there we go. There we go. And it just pulls right through, and then we'll zip tie that to the new one, and that way it'll be nice and secure and it won't slap against the ground. Like that. The pan hard bar is gonna come out next. It's right there with this bolt, and then there's one on the other side. And then we'll go ahead and do the LCAs too, while we have the whole rear end disconnected, and we'll do the springs last. We have the pan hard bar off, just two bolts. Just to make it easier when you're going in, we're just gonna lube up the edge a little bit, get all up in there. This will just make it slide in a lot easier because it is a tight fit. So we learned this from a couple times ago. <laughs> you want to make sure these little uh, grease fittings are on the bottom and then you definitely want to grease it after you install it. So Zerg fittings. So Zerg fittings, yeah. yeah. There you go. So now we're going to go ahead and throw it in there. We're just going to put the bottom that's like a 90 degree. We're going to put that on the left because it has a little cradle under there. I'll just make it easier. We're going. So now we have the pan hard bar on, pretty easy. Just use a hammer and kind of slide it in there. Now we're gonna work on the LCAs. We're not gonna tighten these down and adjust it yet. We have to see what the new lowering springs do, but they're all in there. We'll also go ahead and grease these fittings up at the end. I'll show you guys that later on. Now we have the LCAs out, as you can see, these are quite a bit beefier than the stock ones and the bushings are a lot better. So this one is the BMR, non-adjustable ones, but this will help a lot with the wheel hop gonna go ahead and put that in. We're just copying how it looks so it has the longer inside, so we're just swapping it over. And obviously make sure your fittings are on the bottom so that way you can grease it. This is the backside version. As you can tell that there is the Zerg fitting on there. We're just gonna go ahead, tighten these down. Just like not, not that. <laughs> put it in reverse, Terry. Okay, you're good. I think that's tight. Yeah. How many clicks is it for tighten? It's like three uggas. <laughs> Tug it. Perfect. Okay. Drop it. Let's show Fuck that. the wheels, just drop it. Let's show that BMR. There we go. Right there. Yeah. yeah. Which one was it? It was the one with the little hook. Yeah, not this one. Yeah. What's that one for? That one's the end link. Okay, one more. Yep. Torque to spec. All right, get Bertha on the job. Oh, that's on there. <laughs> oh, hello, hello. Yellow. All right, so we did have to cut the bumps off. You just cut the first little part and that's enough. We also have the springs in there. We have everything tightened down. All we need to do now is go ahead and grease all these fittings, which you just use a grease gun. Got all the grease on there. So now I'm just gonna clean it up. You don't want all of this because it can attract dirt and grime. So I'm just gonna get under there, use a rag and clean it all up. Now we have the pan hard bar. It's resting on the axles instead. So that way it's under weight. And as you can tell, this side is really poking out. So we're gonna need to do something there. We're gonna adjust the pan hard bar and make the poke even on both sides. Um, we're not sure what happened. <laughs> I'm not I mean, sure what happened here. All, I think we installed the front springs. The springs are on, but now it's like three fists. This guy's doing pull ups over here. Moment of truth. Oh, Ooh, Jesus. Just right. send it. Yeah, we still have to. Uh, still up on a wood block, too. Yeah. Wood blocks and e brake is still on.
while he's uh, torquing the wheels down, I'm gonna take over the vlog. Really clean one owner E30, clean title. Original paint, a surprise for y'all. Damn. Is this carb legal? Yes, it is, Quan. Let's go check out your car. Damn. Damn, you made that splitter. That's one sick splitter. Rides straight from Japan. Hell yeah. It's not made out of skateboard decks. This is made out of skateboard decks. Renown wheel. Great, great stuff. And we back, baby. Quick little test drive, make sure nothing's loose and making weird noises, but give it a little song test and then uh, just make sure nothing's loose or feeling different. Mm, yeah, it's actually pretty smooth over the bumps. Yeah. Dude, V3. watch out, dude. I have a Mustang. Uh, I don't know if you've seen the memes, but we gotta hit you. <laughs> <laughs> quick walk around of mom's car this is it all done now it's all lowered has the full bmr kit on it and it's actually really nice once we did the test drive there was nothing weird or rattling on it so yeah i'd say this was all success and it went by really really smoothly other thing is we fixed this exhaust tip it was a little crooked but now it's all nice and aligned and it matches the other side perfectly the next step is going to be for her to go ahead and get an alignment i'm going to try to do that for her later on this week so that way when she comes back she'll be able to drive that my car is super filthy it was actually hasn't been cleaned in like two weeks but it doesn't really look like it but i'm going to go ahead hit it with the wash hit it with the phone cannon and get this one looking nice to park it back in the garage. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up right here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, then please comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.